hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this creative looping animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin but with the help of simple tips and tricks inside of after effects and if you want to learn more about other stuff of motion graphics then don't forget to check out my udemy courses links are available in the description and if you're new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in Adobe After Effect. Let's create a new composition. We are going to call it as Main Animation. Width I'm going to choose 1920 and height I'm going to choose 180. Frame rate is 30 and duration we are going to choose uh, let's say 30 seconds long duration and background color is black and simply hit OK. Then go to choose grid and guide option and simply hit on titles section. Then press Ctrl N to create another composition and height I am going to choose 100 uh, or let's say 200 and width I am going to choose 1920 only and simply hit OK. Okay, uh, press Ctrl K to open the project settings. We will leave this uh, width to 1000. Okay, this looks good to me. Then after that I am going to select my pen tool and from here to here I am going to create one line. And we are going to choose white color for this line and we will delete this fill we don't need that and we will increase the stroke width to 20 select this and press ctrl alt home go to the uh, align tab and choose align horizontally then go to the contents shape stroke and choose round cap like this then after that i'm going to select my ellipse tool and i'm going to create one ellipse like this and press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center select this and let's move this over here now let's go to the add menu and choose uh, let's say trim path go to the trim path and let's make this 50. okay go to the ellipse uh, stroke and choose butt cap to round cap like this hit u select this press r for rotation and let's rotate it to 90 degree okay now select this and let's uh, move this over here okay now select this hit ctrl d and let's uh, move this uh, over here like this okay select this uh, and we will delete this uh, go to the con we will delete this trim part we don't need that okay so press ctrl k now to open the project settings and we are going to call it as holder now go to the main animation and we will bring our holder over here like this press y to select your pen behind tool and we will bring this anchor point over here in the middle of this ball press s for scaling option and scale it like this and we will simply move this stuff over here like this now select this and press R for rotation so see to see how it rotates. I think we need to decrease the scale to 50 like this. And let's move this somewhere around over here. Okay and press R for rotation. Yeah we can rotate it like this. Now after that we are going to select the ellipse tool. We don't need any stroke so let's delete this stroke and we will choose white color for this fill zoom in a little bit and let's move this over here and by holding shift i'm going to create one ellipse like this now select this and press ctrl alt home and we will simply bring this stuff over here like this okay select this hit enter and let's call it as ball sorry let's call it as ball okay like this now I'm going to select this ball and I'll make it apparent with this holder. Select this holder, press R for rotation and create one keyframe. Go to around one second and let's make this uh, one complete rotation. So if you see, you will get something like this. Now select those keyframe and hit F9. So we'll get something like this. Now let's uh, select this, press P for position. Let's bring this a little bit downwards so we can see properly. 
like this now at this point somewhere around over here i want this uh, ball should go down so at this point i'll select this ball and i'll press ctrl shift d to split this layer hit u so uh, if you see and there is no keyframe and we will delete this uh, not delete but unlink this parenting then press r for rotation and let's make this rotation zero press p for position create one keyframe go to around three seconds and we will bring this downward like this somewhere around over here uh, let's go to around two second or let's go somewhere around over here create another keyframe and in middle of that uh, we will bring this upward okay select those keyframes and we will hit f9 go to the graph editor zoom in select this by holding shift we will move this handle over here and this handle over here this handle over here and this handle over here okay like this okay and now we will select this and we will bring this a little bit over here if you want you can move this a little bit forward also okay select this go over here this or uh, you can select this first keyframe and by holding control simply click on it like this okay so if you see and go to the graph editor you will get something like this or you can select this hit f9 again go to the graph editor zoom in a little bit and let's see this let's select this and let's move this a little bit over here and let's see select this and let's move this a little bit over here okay so this is how we will get this animation if i see okay this looks good now go to the start select this holder hit ctrl d hit u and we will delete those keyframe okay we will bring this at the top and let's go to the last keyframe we will select this and we will move this over here until it's going to be properly hold this ball like like at the start so if you see over here this is same and at this point also this is same okay and as you guys know that this animation is ending over here at 4 second so the 4 second is my looping so let's go over here at 4 second select all of them and press ctrl shift c and we will call it as animation and hit ok and press f4 and make sure to enable this icon and press n over here now press s for scaling option and scale it like this now zoom in a little bit let's go somewhere around over here and let's move this stuff over here go to the start now we have to create some markings over here so let's move this over here okay press ctrl r to bring our ruler okay let's move this line over here zoom in a little bit it this edge should touch this line then bring one line from here this should touch this line select this animation press p for position create one keyframe go to around four second uh, let's move this fit and we will move this from here to here and again it should touch this line okay so now if i see this animation I will get this animation continuously in the form of loop. Okay, like this. And press Ctrl Y to create one solid background, or you can choose any kind of background also. It's totally up to you. But I would suggest press Ctrl Y and choose black background. Uh, and then right click new and create one adjustment layer go to the effect and presets panel and search for tint effect to apply 
then you can easily swap this colors and you can choose whatever stuff you want like this okay like i'm going to choose white color over here and you will choose different color over here like let's say purple or something yeah this looks good like this and you can go inside this holder you can uh, do this design the way you want like this also so that looks good like this and if you want to be cre more creative then you can create some lines like this also okay so this is also you can do some stuff like this okay so this is how you can create looping animation inside of after effects